Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to teach you five advanced elastico moves or ACA variations. But before you attempt today's moves, make sure you've checked out my basic elastico variations and mastered those before moving on in today's video. Because that's going to give you the basic concept of what the elastico is and put you in better standing to take on these more advanced moves. But if you're ready to go, let's get into the first move. So first up we have the Hocus Pocus and like with all of these moves these might not be very suitable for the 11 aside game although you do see them from time to time. They're going to be more suitable for playing against your mates in 5 aside and in futsal. So here's the first step of the Hocus Pocus, we're stepping in front of the ball slightly to the side with our non-dominant foot. Then with our dominant foot we're pushing the ball with the inside of our foot diagonally past our standing leg. And then the final step is, as we push the ball, we then catch it again with the same foot with the laces to push it back in front of us. And that completes the Hocus Pocus. A good one for unbalancing the defender. Like with all these moves, you'll see that there's a first phase pushing it one way, and then the second phase to push it another, either mid-move or mid-flight to unbalance the defender. Next up we have the air elastico, this is one of my favourite looking moves, so all we're doing is popping the ball up in the air before performing the elastico, it's a little bit more difficult because the ball is mid flight, you have to get those touches very precise, but here's the steps, so first step is popping the ball slightly towards the inside, second step is as we pop it to the inside but then pushing it to the outside with our little toe. Next part is then flicking it back to the inside, releasing our legs, we're straightening it out to snap it and then catching it with our big toe to make the full elastico. Number three is the reverse elastico, so exactly like number two but just in reverse. So what we're doing is, same setup as before, we're popping the ball to the inside using our big toe. But this time, instead of flicking it to the outside to then set it up for another inside touch, we're actually releasing the ball on that outwards phase of the movement. So we're flicking it with the big toe towards the inside, then flicking it outside with the little toe. Fourth on the list is the Niaka. So these are increasing in difficulty. This one's a bit more unorthodox, but if you can pull it off, it looks really smooth. So what we're doing is using the outside of our knee to perform the first phase of that elastico movement and then making connection with our laces. So here's the first step, we want to bounce the ball so it bounces just above waist height. Step two is then pushing it to the outside with the outside of our knee or we can do it just above the knee with the lower thigh. The third phase of this movement is then connecting with the laces once again to complete the elastico movement. This one takes a little bit of practice, you've got to get that touch with the thigh right and then extend the leg once again to snap the ball towards the opposite direction. And finally we have the Acker 3000 and I've saved this one to last because it's certainly the most complicated of the bunch. You might notice it's a little bit similar to the knee Acker but we're adding a bit of 180 degree spin in it so it's a good one for when you've got your back to your opponent and this one looks really cool. So what we're doing, we're going to start off by bouncing the ball just so we get used to it again. Want it to bounce just above waist height and then we're throwing our weak foot over the ball and pivoting on our standing leg. Then what we're going to do is as we've made that 180 degree pivot, we're then nudging the ball to the outside with the outside of our lower leg, right at the top of the calf muscle there. And then finally we're going to extend that leg once again like we have with the other elasticos and then we're going to make contact with the laces to release the ball in the opposite direction. This one's going to take a lot of practice and you can add some combos to it but it looks really silky if you can pull it off. So those are the five Akka variations, not the simplest or easiest moves to get down but if you practice them over and over again you'll get them in no time. But if you did enjoy today's video make sure you smash that like button, hit the subscribe button for weekly training videos and I will see you guys in my next video.